वेलकम बैक गाइस सो टुडे वी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट ए न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन बिग डेटा एंड हडू पार्ट एंड टुडे वी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बिग डेटा सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज बिग डेटा डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ बिग डेटा सो फॉर नाउ लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट इज बिग डेटा वंस अगेन so big data is nothing but say huge volume of data which cannot be stored and processed using traditional system within given time efficiency so further we are going to talk about the classification of big data and when we are talking about the classification of big data then basically we are talking about structured unstructured and semi structured data so let's go for a classification of big data so big data can be classify into three part and the first classification part is structured data so when we are talking about a structured data when the structured data contain some neat information tight information which are you know easy to process which are which are easy to execute so structured data we can say it does have some format associated with it and the example are data in data databases data in excel format and the second part the second classification of big data is semi structured data so if we are talking about semi structured data then we are talking about you know does not have some proper format associated with it and the data over the emails the data you know in word format or in pdf so they are uh, they fall under semi structured data and the last classification of big data is unstructured data so when we are talking about unstructured data then unstructured data are those data which does not have any format associated with it and the example are audio video data etc so i have some few important notes with re with regards to classification of big data so let's discuss that the first important notes is a structured data can be handled through traditional system if you're talking about traditional system here then we are talking about rdbms approach so structured data can be handled through traditional system that is rdbms approach as well as hadoop system so we can have a question here if rdbms approach can handle a structured data then what is the need of hadoop system or if hadoop system can handle a structured data then why rdbms cannot be replaced so we going to discuss about this question in just few second now cons now we will look into second point second important notes with re with regards to classification of big data and the second point is semi structured data and unstructured data can only be handled through hadoop system so no rdbms system no rdbms rdbms approach can handle your semi structured data or unstructured data so this only can be handled through hadoop system and the third important notes is still some major organization using rdbms approach to handle structured data so we have a we have a question or a right a few second back that if a structured data can be handled through rdbms approach then why we use then why hadoop system exist or if hadoop system can you know handle a structured data then why rdbms so we have that big question and the big question is why we cannot replace rdbms approach if we have powerful system like hadoop so let's discuss this one so why we cannot replace rdbms approach if we have powerful system like hadoop and the important reason behind this is why rdbms cannot be replaced while processing the structured data and the main reason is crud cycle because rdbms approach supports crud cycle but at the same time hadoop system cannot 
support CRUD cycle. CRUD cycle is basically create, delete, read, update and delete. So if you are talking about Hadoop, then Hadoop cannot update your row update your delete your row etc and all so this can only be achieved through if we are working with rdmms well that is not means hadoop is not powerful hadoop will powerful and we are going to discuss many more about hadoop things what are the better features available in hadoop if we're talking uh, with respect to rdbms but if we are talking about a structure a structured data then a structured data can also be execute and process through rdbms approach and that is the reason many organization does not moved into big data they have not realized the importance of hadoop because still they are um, processing their data with rdbms approach because they are generating only a structured data but in the scenario when they are generating unstructured data or semi structured data then they are forced to move in hadoop uh, the powerful system like hadoop so I think you have clear uh, you, you have cleared this question. So one important reason behind this is why RDBMS cannot be replaced by Hadoop when we are talking about a structured data is RDBMS support CRUD cycle work at the same time Hadoop does not support CRUD cycle. And we have you know, many colleagues, many professionals have one myth that only petabyte of data or terabyte of data or exabyte of data fall into big data. But that is not the case. Not only petabyte of data, terabyte of data are big data. Even MB size and GB size can also be big data. I have talked about one example of big data and the email example. So you can only transfer you know, 25 MB size over the email so what if 26 MB or 27 MB you are available with 26 or 27 MB what if in that case 26 MB is big data with respect to email part because you are restricted only to process to only 25 MB of data isn't it so please clear this myth not only petabyte terabyte exabyte and higher you know configuration size of data are only big data even MB and GB size can also be a big data so in upcoming videos, we will talk about characteristics of big data. We will see with example different different characteristics of big data. If you have any question related to classification of big data or uh, related to big data, you just comment it out in below section. We will back with best possible approach. For more videos, like and subscribe our Ek Umid help channel. Thank you for watching this video guys. Thank you very much.